Hi everyone, this is Asha Batenga. Don't forget to add on Jumba. Today, I'm going to show you how to use soy flour in your bread. The soy flour is nutritious. The protein content is very nice. The beauty with soy, it doesn't have uh, the gluten, especially for those that have good challenges with the gluten. It has calcium, it has magnesium, it has zinc, it has fiber. And in two kgs, we are adding just 3%. 3% is just 60 grams. You need to buy a weighing scale. Because without the weighing scale, you'll get all the ingredients wrong. What you see in yellow is salt. To remind myself, please do not put salt near yeast because it can kill your bread. This is our wheat. We are going to add soy flour. Remember, this is 3% of our flour. Put everything together. Your sugar. Your calcium. This is called K2. This improver helps you to make the bread softer. This is yeast. It's instant yeast. I'll put my salt when we get to the mixer and then I add the water. For me to avoid the flour dust flying all over, I use this. When I reach in the middle, that's when I put in my salt. So now I add in my salt. Then since this is little, I can just pour it in now. I'm using this. It is a commercial mixer, but uh, if you are at home, you can even use your hands. We are going to first mix them dry so that all ingredients are properly mixed in. I usually do this to make sure that everything comes together. I am using 1.3 liters of water, but without soy, the water is low because soy takes in a lot of water. Low speed still. After three minutes, you switch to high speed. Like you can see, our dough is starting to come together. This is the time when I increase the speed to high. So now after eight minutes, we're going to test it out and see if it is stretching. You see that? When you do that and it is not tearing, that's when you know your dough is ready. And now our dough is ready. I'm going to sprinkle some flour here. This flour acts like a non-stick. If I didn't use my soy, the texture is different. And you can tell even when you're eating. This is a heavier texture. If you like that heavy kind of bread, this gives you that. We are going to do small loaves of 500 grams. You have to make sure that you cut the exact... Yeah, that's exact. That is 500 grams. You can use whatever works for you as long as your bread doesn't stick in the tin. You can even use a round tin. Those at home, you can even use sepp picky. So at this stage, we are going to remove our gloves uh, because we want to roll the dough in the proper way. Make sure that your hands are washed. If your nails are not short, please keep your gloves on. It's better to protect the people who are going to eat your food. You just follow how I'm going to roll it. You first do this, make sure it is round. It gets a smooth texture. Then you get your rolling pin and you just make sure that you roll it so that it is flat. out of our 2 kg wheat. We have gotten seven loaves of 500 grams each. We are going to wrap them, leave them at uh, room temperature to proof. If you have a proofing machine, it is short. It takes just 40 minutes. So we have to make sure that at least it is double in size. If you're doing it at home, wrap it up with cling film and then you just put it away. I'll give it approximately two hours. Two hours later. Like you can see, it has proofed very well. And I'm going to do 40 minutes. Now our timer is down. 40 minutes are gone. This is our bread. The other three are baking in another oven. The volume is good, the texture is good, everything is on point. We are going to cut it and see how it looks like inside. <laughs> Charles, I would like you to test the bread and give me some marks. Tell me if I nailed it. Thank you so much, Asha. The 
color is good. Then the texture inside, what we normally call a katimba. You local bakers, you understand this. And normally in some bread, after some days, this upper part is going to cut off for the other bread. But watch out for you old bakers. This part is going to be firmer, even when the bread lasts for a longer time on the market. Mm. Let me try and see. Test moment of truth. So I think I can declare that you are becoming an expert. Uh -huh. It has the mouth feeling. It is moist. It's not dry. I believe this is something that is very good for the commercial market, something good for the mothers, something good for the home bakers. Thank you, Charles. Now, do you want to join the campaign? This is how.